if you've been watching my videos, there haven't been a lot of televisions that I've recommended, none that I've really praised very strongly. However, this will change with this review. This is the Sony KV-HR36M31. This was released in around 2003. This one was built in September of that year. It's a HD TV, flat screen, uh, 36 inch or 34 inches of viewable screen. There's also a 32 inch version, which I think is 30 inches of viewable screen. I actually have that one also, just over there on the right. It's little brother, They're, they are identical except for size. What I'm classing HD CRT as is any CRT that will accept and display 720p or higher. It won't necessarily display the full resolution of those signals. It probably is actually downscaling it, but nevertheless it'll still display a picture from that source. This, this Sony here has been one that I've been after for a while because I started looking at HD CRTs and I picked up the Philips Pixel Plus and another LG, both of which I've already reviewed, and even a Panasonic. And I wasn't blown away by the picture of any of those. They were, they were okay, but they, they weren't anything fantastic. It wasn't the next step in um, picture quality, it just didn't really do it for me. Anyhow, I was about to give up on HD CRTs, but this one kept getting mentioned, the KVHRs. And I thought, all right, I'll buy the I'll buy the little one that I just showed you before, and I'll look at it and I'll put it to rest. I'll I'll know that you know it's it's nothing special, and that'll be the end of the hunt for the HD CRTs. And the reason that I had to get the KVHR was because a lot of people rave about this on the net and say it's the best HD CRT ever made. So I thought I'll get it. I'll get the best that there apparently is and eliminate it from that. However, I, after receiving the TV and testing it out and playing a few games on it, I've got to say it does impress me. And it, 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 I just had that feeling that, yep, this is the real deal. This is this is what I was expecting from HD CRT. Now, for American viewers out there, I don't, I don't know where else this model was released in the world, but you guys got the Sony XBR range, and I think this one here, this KVHR, is somewhat similar or equivalent to those. It uses the super fine pitch picture tube, I don't know how many lines of resolution this tube actually displays. I can't really nail that down. But be aware of that. This is sort of XBR quality. That's my best estimate on where to put this against those. You would have seen on the introduction the stand here. This is the matching stand for the TV, by the way. And while we're here at the front, we'll have a look what else it's got. Something that I haven't even tested yet is this memory card slot here on the front, one of Sony's proprietary memory card systems, no doubt. I'll have to um, try that out. I think I've got a Sony card somewhere. And there's those details you would have seen in the introduction, the super fine pitch. Let's go around the back. But you wouldn't have seen this lid part here it slides up and reveals its buttons to control the TV. Uh, composite input and S video and headphone standard stuff there. Okay, we're in the back. Antenna, speaker uh, connection wire, wire connectors for the speakers here. Now, this is not this is not a setup where the TV is the amplifier and you plug the speakers into here. No, it's the other way around. You actually plug your amp into here and use this TV, use the speakers in the TV as the center channel for your surround sound setup. Inputs here, S video, whole, uh, whole or three, three composite inputs, one composite output, you yeah, know, big deal. Uh, this is the stuff we want here. Two um, sets of component inputs here with sound. And then there's this, this extra two here, which is very interesting. There are labeled um, HD and VD sync. So horizontal drive and vertical drive. 
Now, the manual doesn't really state much about these at all. It says here, if your digital TV receiver is not equipped with the YPR, YPBPR output connectors, component ones, connected to the GBR HD VD connectors of input number two, which are these, green, blue, red, and horizontal and vertical. Well, that doesn't mean much to me what it says in the manual, but I figure red, green, oh, red, green, blue, horizontal and vertical is RGB HV, which is VGA. So I've tested it and I can say this TV does accept VGA through these connectors here. It accepts several resolutions and I don't understand why Sony didn't really promote this more than that. They don't mention anything in the manual about it accepting PC signal. They didn't provide any breakout cable so you could plug in your D sub 15 VGA connector from your PC. Bit of a mystery that one, but we'll go and test that very shortly. Righto, the conversions pattern is up. I haven't tweaked this TV at all. I haven't been into the service menu. Well, that's a lie. I actually have been into it, but I haven't altered anything. Service menu is fairly cryptic. I managed to get the manual, the service menu manual, which has all of the settings available, all the, all the things you can do with the service menu. It's got a deep, deep set of adjustments. I've never seen a TV with such large amount of settings and I'm a little bit scared even to go in and tamper with those things just yet so I almost have to apologize that I haven't quite tweaked this to maximize quality of the picture now it's very sharp I must say it's very sharp the white lines are very sharp and they extend out from the center very sharply they do get a little bit thicker especially that that last bar last vertical bar on the left there that's a bit thicker so it's not as well focused as the others and will be a little bit blurry on the edges of pictures and other details still very good it does have a, a slight bowing in the center the center is a little bit higher on the horizontal lines and then they sort of lower down a bit it's not a lot almost thought I wouldn't be able to tweak that out but given the depth of the settings in this TV you might be able to fine tune that and strangely enough of all the CRTs I've ever seen this one's no different in the fact that the picture as a whole is rotated slightly to the left and I wonder if this is something that's it's done there TVs are built to be suited for the southern hemisphere being in Australia here and I wonder if it's the area that I'm in that every virtually every TV I've got picture slightly rotated to the left it almost needs the yoke in the back of the television being rotated to get the picture straight unfortunately in the normal menu of this TV it doesn't have any option to rotate the picture by about this time 2000 2003 there were TV sets out there that would enable you to do this you probably can do it in the service menu anyway but anyhow just judging by this pattern here it's very sharp so you would expect to see Probably a very good picture and we'll see how it goes when we put the 360 on all PC shortly. 360 is going now and for reference it's at 1080i widescreen running component. The game I've put on is Hard Corpse Uprising by Konami. It's a Contra spin-off. It's pretty detailed. I'm impressed with how it looks so I chose to put it on. Just loading now. Ready to go. Should mention it now too that this TV does fairly crank out the sound too. It's got a fair size sound system inside it. There we go, there's our picture. Looking very nice. The detail is excellent. This is CRT we're talking here, not plasma or LCD. Details fantastic, sharp. Alright, 
put on another gun. The picture coming out of the Sony here is very strong. It's probably the strongest picture I've seen in a CRT. It's so bright, yet it doesn't bloom or bleed or distort. Very strong, very sharp, very colourful. The only criticism I'd say, maybe the reds are a little bit too strong. They're still not strong enough to bleed. But probably something that could be easily fixed in the service menu anyway by turning down playing with the color options. Maybe even the regular menu I could just turn the red down a bit. This is a very red stage in this game, this volcano stage. It did hit me when I first saw it that it seemed a bit excessive in its redness. Still, detail is incredible. I don't have any qualms about recommending this television to anyone. It's excellent. Let's continue with some other things.